My name is Chase from Junior, and this is Comes for Happy Number Two. I'm only going to talk about some TV things tonight, because tonight was the return of The Walking Dead. And if you're a Walking Dead fan, hoorah, they're back in action. I didn't see all of it. I did watch The Talking Dead, so I'm going to leave you right there. Now, I will say I've had my share of watching all of the Marvel and DC TV shows that are on TV. My favorite this week has been The Flash. The only show I didn't get to watch was um, Legends of Tomorrow. Totally forgot what night it was coming on. Totally fucking missed it. So that's on me. But since it's on the man, and I will watch it. I'll be up to speed. Flash was awesome. It was my favorite this whole week. Flash was probably my hands down favorite. Supergirl was good. Flash was better. Arrow was great. Flash was better. Uh, I didn't get to watch Gotham all the way through, but I watched the end of it. And I will come back to address that in a minute, because that totally pissed me off. So, the last show that I watched involving superheroes was Inhumans. Awesome. Now, I'm going to go back to Batman. Excuse me, Gotham, real fast. I missed most of the show. So, I have no idea what in the hell I was watching. But at the end... They made Bruce Wayne do something that Bruce Wayne has never done in my entire um, years of um, watching or reading or whatever you want to call it with Batman. And he has never taken a life. Ever. You know what I mean? He has never, ever taken a life. So that pissed me off. Alright. I would say that because at the end of the show. If you haven't watched it. Or you should watch it. Spoiler alert. Gordon and Alfred comes in. Wherever the hell Bruce Wayne is. And Bruce Wayne. Murders a person. He does it for a reason. But Bruce Wayne. In the comic books. Has never taken a life. He has um, given the bad guys enough rope to hang themselves. And as um, Christian Bale's Batman put it, put it the best, I'm not going to kill you. But it doesn't mean I have to save you. And, and, and with that, you know, that was a whole different matter. Because he didn't kill him. He just left him there. You know, which isn't the same thing by some comic book law, you know, leaving your enemy in a fiery train of death, which he set himself in to begin with, is kind of not your fault. But this whole thing with Gotham and them making Bruce Wayne stab this dude at the end totally had my jaw dropped from Thursday to Sunday. It's like, they must not have read um, Bruce Wayne's um, motto about never taking a life. He's the only superhero who has never killed anyone. I don't really recall Superman not killing someone, but I do recall the fucking Superman's death where him and Doomsday kind of killed each other. So, guilty. Batman didn't kill Bane. I think he broke Bane's back the way Bane broke his back, or Azra took care of it. I can't really remember. It's been a long time. But in that same thing, Batman has never taken a life in the animated series. In the comic books, he's um, he's not, he didn't make it to save Tim. I mean, uh, Jason Peter Todd. But with that one punch from Superman who never made it to our world, it rippled time and all that other shit. Anyway, if you're in with the new 52s and the rebirth, then you know everything that I'm saying is pretty close to legit. Not going to say it's that legit because I'm more Marvel than DC. I'll probably do a report on that one day. I'm not really sure because there's all different types of comic books, you know, and depending on your genre or your fan base, you know, everybody has their own type of comics. All right, so this is five minutes of your life that you can't get back. This is comic book number two. B, C, and U.
if I didn't stop the ending. <laughs>